Hey, Snails here. Welcome to chapter 2 of this series, where we'll look at the texture application tool and the overlay tool. In Hammer, look for this icon in the toolbar. This is the texture application tool. The texture application tool allows you to pick your desired texture and apply it to the face of a brush. There's a lot here, but we're only going to focus on browse and apply for now. Click browse and a window should come up called Textures. This window allows you to pick textures ready for use. Look to the bottom of the window, and you can filter out textures you want. I'll filter for a brick texture. Look for your desired texture, and double-click it to select it. Now that we selected our texture, we can move the window to the side and look at our 3D view. You'll know you're in texturing mode when your cursor looks like this. To texture, right-click the face of a brush you want textured. What if I created multiple brushes with the same texture and didn't want to use that texture anymore? Well, it's actually really easy. Look to the right side of Hammer and you see a panel titled Current Texture. Not only does it help you remember what texture you're currently using, you can also replace all current textures with a new one. In order to do that, press the Replace button. A window will come up titled Replace Textures. Click the Browse button on the right and find a new desired texture. Press OK and it will replace all old textures with the new selected one. Another window will come up telling you how many textures were replaced. The number of textures it tells you depends on how many faces of a brush had that texture in your map. Press OK and you can see that the textures did change to the new one. We'll talk about the overlay tool. The overlay tool allows you to place overlay textures to the face of a brush, and it's usually used for detailing a map with less loss in performance. And it's more flexible than the decal tool, which we won't be covering. In order to use the overlay tool, find this icon in the toolbar. Click it, and nothing happens. That's because you need to place it down in the 3D view. Next, Click the Selection tool in the toolbar, and double-click on the Placed Overlay. A window will come up titled Object Properties. There's a lot here, but for now we need to focus on the bar called Material. And next to it, you'll see the current material selected. Double-click it, and the Textures window will come up. Filter for Overlay or decal and select your desired overlay texture. Click apply and the selected overlay will show up. If your overlay shows up too large or too small, head to the view you need. In my case, the side view. And just like transforming a brush, we can do the same thing to an overlay. What if my overlay spans across multiple brushes and is cut off? No worries, there's an easy fix. Double click on your placed overlay and look for the brush faces bar. Next, look over to the right side and click the pick button. Now move the window to the side and control click the other brush face. Click apply and close the window. Now your overlay works again. Now that you've made it to the end of chapter two, you should have a better understanding of the texture application tool and the overlay tool. And if you liked the tutorial, consider subscribing and liking the video, and I hope to see you in chapter three where we'll look at the entity tool. Bye for now.